Be out. Hey, when you when you're shooting your threes, be careful of turning too much. Especially when you're under duress. Because what happens is when you turn, when you're under duress, that's when you go to this. So make sure we're staying here, staying square. When the sun sets, Brandon Ingram and Lonzo Ball are just hitting the halfway point of their workday. Come back tonight, right? Yeah, what time? What time you wanna go at? Five. It is definitely is fun, just the competitiveness that we bring out of it, uh, how he gets us in a good mental space of so, uh, being able to knock shots down. We, we do stuff where if we miss it, we go down two. If we make it, we go up one. Uh, so the misses count more than the makes, uh, just to mentally lock us in. Whether at home, on the road, or coming off a grueling morning practice, a second nightly session with Pelican shooting coach Fred Vinson is now the norm. It, it means a lot. You know, I, I use the phrase, the game within the game. Okay. Up the side, I uh, tack down here, get down here. Uh, uh. Nice. Ha! I like that. Ha! Good, too. Vincent has drastically changed the way both B.I. and Zoe shoot the ball. I came in here in August and uh, just meeting Fred and uh, he was telling me different things to do with my, with my legs, with my feet. Um, uh, and I was shooting the ball mechanically. And at first it was hard. I didn't truly believe in it, but kept doing it over and over again. I came in every single day and I started to see progress from it. Let's, let's go top of the key. Top of the key, catch and shoot. The one thing with Brandon was the fact that his balance was off. Um, and he was losing a lot of his power was going into the floor as opposed to using it to propel him, propel his body up. Um, so, and it affected his shot. Um, and I kind of aligned his body a little bit more. So that's what we started with the foundation of his feet being square. I was just watching Lake Yane, those, those two threes you took in the corner, back to back. Remember, you missed the first one, but it was front rim. The second one, you made it. All because you were coming this way, so it caused you to square up as opposed to being here. And I use the phrase, all 10 toes to the rim. And so I wanted that to be the start, the foundation, which are the feet in your shooting. Uh, here we go, 10 in a row. He was tremendously, not only receptive, but his responses to the stuff that we were doing was like, I thought he was playing a joke on me. I'm like, man, there's no way you were able to do what you're doing. I just sit there and told you what to do, but you shouldn't be able to do it that fast. The percentages tell it a lot. Uh, of course, I've shot the ball uh, from the three-pointer a lot more here, but that's all in the confidence. That's, that's Fred giving me every single day and, and stuff that he does and his workouts. So um, it, it's definitely been more makes than misses. Enough makes for B.I. to earn All-Star honors this year for the first time in his career. He says Vincent's tutelage was a huge part of that equation. Absolutely. I think uh, him just coming out here and telling me that I can shoot more threes and I need to shoot more threes, uh, helping me be confident in it, uh, it is definitely getting me to a point where I can expand my game and, and, and score the basketball all over the floor. I was just so happy for him, um, number one, that he put in all the work um, and that he trusted me, which I should be number one. because. In development, it really starts with the player trusting who's teaching them. All right, here we go. Here we start now. Game light. Game light. One. B.I.'s results with Vincent convinced Zoe to join in on the nightly shooting sessions as well. I said, um, I don't want to change your shot. I said, you shot the ball well in college at 40% from three point. I just want to tweak it a little bit. The way I shoot is completely different than how I used to. Um, just trying to be more consistent and um, keep the ball on the right side. Create your own rhythm. Create your own rhythm. Uh, uh. Yep. Uh, two good shots, Zo. I think the biggest change is moving it from the left to the right. Trying to hold my follow through up more. Uh, I have a tendency of dropping it, you know, when I shoot. So those are the two probably biggest things I'm trying to work on. All that work he put in, over time, that muscle memory kind of builds and builds and builds to a point where you forget how you used to shoot. Two. There you go, get square zone, both feet. Three, there we go. He's worked his behind off. You know, he's had some, some games where he struggled and you know, people give him a hard time and he fought through all that. And now people see and they recognize they, they're starting to see some results. And he'll, he'll be even better next year for sure. We'll have a summer to go through and tweak some stuff. Game like pass. Hey, that's <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> That's how you hit him on here this week.
thing. I'm like, is he gonna shoot that? You caught the ball. <laughs> you... Oh, he's a great guy to be around. Uh, not only just a coach, but a person. Um, it doesn't feel like he's coaching you. It feels like a friend that's out there working you out. Money ball. Ten in a row. Yeah. There we go. Crystal. So I see you at five. Five thirty. Five thirty. I see you at five thirty. Cause B will probably be at what six thirty. B. Six. You said six. Hey, I heard him say six. Though. He did say six. I heard him say six. Mm-hmm. Hey. Nice.